Hello everybody and welcome back. As you can see, we're on my bed. And you may be thinking, well, what are we going to be doing on your bed? Well, I was bored and I had some money, so... Lego! Right, and I was like, I like Lego and I like Minecraft. So, I bought a Lego Minecraft set. It's supposed to look like that when it's done. So, we're going to be building this Lego Minecraft set. And it's going to be the second Lego Minecraft set in my collection. Because I have another one that I just didn't build on the video. Alright. So, first things first, we're going to grab our instructions here. Just the good old instructions. Alright. We're not going to build the cat or the character first. Cause actually, we'll build the ocelot. Because if not, I'm not going to know how to build it. So, the first thing that we need here is the ocelot's head. No, we don't need that first. What we need first is um this thing so if you're building with me although i don't think you are if you're building with me you gotta grab this piece the three studded yellow and then you gotta place this one stud brown on the bottom and get a one stud yellow and get a one stud yellow on the uh yeah and then Gotta get a, another one stud circle yellow. Get a one stud circle yellow. And another one stud circle yellow on the bottom. And they have to get another one stud brown. I don't know if this is boring. It's probably not boring because I'm amazing. Alright. <laughs> I sound very conceited there. Alright, and then you put the head. You put this piece thingy right here. And then you get this tail. Bam, and now you have your Minecraft Ocelot. Keep him with you so you don't die to creepers. Alright, and then... Alright, now we're actually building the the panda house. So you gotta grab one of these bad boys, right? And then it says you gotta grab this thing here. And you just gotta slap it in. Alright. And you grab this white circle stud. And you put it right on top of the hole. Then you grab this red square stud and put it right on top as well. I guess it's like a little flower. Or like a mushroom or something. Alright, and then what you gotta do is you gotta grab this long piece and you put it here. Then you grab this semi-long piece and you put it here. It's like medium size. Alright, and you grab the other long piece and you slap it right there. Then you turn the page I need another ground piece, so you just stick that right on, right there. And then, now is when... Actually, wait, hold on. First, we're going to take a second to put these thingies on. Thingies. Yay, I love thingies. I think. Alright, and now we're going to actually start building towers on this. Alright. You know, if you have pandas, they're going to want an enterprise. Because, you know, pandas are going to rule the world one day. I'm kidding. Maybe. So, we have four of them. We need five. And after you have your five tower pieces on, you're going to place this thing right on top. And then we go to the next one. But now this time, you think you're building the same tower again, right? But you're not. Gonna grab one, two, three, four of these things instead of five, right? You stack them all one on top of the other. But then here's where things get a little bit different, okay? You're gonna grab, gonna grab one of these bad boys that are flat, like a flatty patty. Then after you get that. You're going to get one of these. You're going to get two of them, right? So you grab one, put it on. Where's the other one? Where's the other piece? I can't finish my Lego set. Wait. There's a different color? Okay, well, then we're going to use the different color to match the color scheme that we already have going. Unless we don't have a different color. That's dumb. They gave us... Two different colors for no reason. You know what? We like to be colorful here. Alright. <laughs> I'm saying we like to be colorful when literally the set is completely gray. Anyways, um... 
Yeah. Then we grab one of these big boys. We grab one of these boys over here and just boop, plop it on. And then with these two things, you may be wondering, why do we have them? Well, of course, they're to grab this ladder that's here for some reason. I don't know why you'd need a lot. Put on the wrong rung. I don't know why we would need a ladder here, but it goes right next to this tower. Just like, look at that, just like this. Not a panda, you don't go in the enclosure. Probably shouldn't throw that. Alright. And then, next up, we need these long pole things. I wonder why pandas want poles. Now, we put <coughs> these here. And, uh, then we grab this, another platform piece, as I call them. Because I'm too not big-brained to know the real name. Now, after you put it on as it should be, it's a little canopy for the panda. That's nice. So then we're gonna grab four of these triangle arrowish pieces. One, two, three, four. And we have to grab. Oh, we have to grab four tiny green studs. We've got one, two, three, four. All right. So now after you have those, what you want to do is you want to place them. You want to place these things. You you want to place them around the corners. And you want to ha make sure that they're all like this and have the green like so. It doesn't matter what corner it is. It's going to be like that every single time. Oh. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. But, I mean, you can change the design if you want, because the, the way you build the roof isn't going to change the design, isn't going to change, isn't going to, like, make it not work. It's, uh, the roof is all just d design and stuff, so. We just, okay, that's not going to be good. Whatever, it's fine. So we'll just place this here. And then we'll put our floor back. Alright. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to grab six of these little pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. We have six of them. And you're going to grab 12 brown stud piece. Circular stud. One, two, three, four. Wait, there's different studs? So do we want the ones with the circles or not? Okay, we do want the one with the circle. We want the open studs, not them closed ones. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Perfect. So now what you want to do is you want to place one under and one on top. Just like this. Under and on top. And you can place these however you want on the roof. So we're just going to leave... I'm going to leave them for the end because... It's just design and I'm not going to do it. So we'll just set these aside for now. Alright. So now, next step. You're going to grab four of these brick pieces, and you're just going to put them right on top. One, two, three, four. Why is the ladder here? If you put the ladder here and you put this on top, you can't get up from the ladder. That's not, okay. Nice work, Lego. Oh, wait, my bad. These are not just a design. They're actually needed for the build. Oops. Mr. Lego must be very mad at me. He's like, I'm gonna cancel you on Twitter. What? Because I built his set wrong. He's gonna can Mr. Lego's gonna cancel me on Twitter. Because I was giving false information about his Minecraft Panda set. Be prepared for the comments. 
So, if we can... Okay, finally. After struggling for five years, we find... We finally got that in. Now, you want to place these not on the squares, but in between the little um, holes. So you can just get it. You'll see why in a second. So after you place the final one, boop, then you're going to grab these long thingies and place them right on top. As I'm doing right here in the build. And the last one, bam. Then what you want to grab is you want to grab four more of these amazing pieces right here. I don't know why I like these pieces. And you want to place them on the little brick thingies. You want to grab four of them. And then you just, where's the last one? I don't have it. I cannot finish my build without it. Oh, wait, it's right here. It was hidden. Sneaky. Alright. And next up on the... Oh, look. So you don't... When you die, you know... In Minecraft, when you die, you obviously have a respawn set. So now that we're going to be building our bed in Minecraft. So first thing you want to do is you want to flip it upside down. You want to make sure you put these things under it. Circular things on each end. Then you flip it back to normal. As the instructions say, you gotta flip it back very vigorously. Like you, you have it one second like this and mm, flip like that. And you have also have to say mm, flip. Because you have to let the people know that you're flipping and you're happy about it. You gotta go mm, flip. You know, you gotta love your flips, okay? And after you build your bed, you just wanna place that right in the middle up here. You're sleeping on top of the pandas, for some reason. I don't know why that doesn't... You know what? It's Minecraft. Alright. So then you're gonna make a torch. I don't know why we're making torches. Okay. So you grab one of... You grab your little... Thing. It's supposed to be a telescope. But... Here it's a handle for a torch. So you put the yellow square stud thing on it. And then you put the orange transparent square stud. And then you just put that right here. As a little night light so you don't get scared. Ooh woo. Alright. And then you grab this fish and apparently you just... There you go. It just says to place it on the floor there. Alright, and now next up you're gonna need this... Oh, we're gonna need this thingy. And this. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it on the four of these. And you're going to place it on the four of these. I'm going to put the fish in later because it's not it's going to keep falling. Alright. So after you get those four, wait, after you put that on, you want to grab another one. And you're going to want to put it right next to the original. And it says you're going to grab this black platform here. And you're going to place it right next to those as well. So it can really be stuck. Then you want to grab this other, no, not this one, this other green platform. And you're going to want to put it right there so it stays there as well. Bigger platform for happier pandas. All right, then you're going to grab two of these little triangle pieces. And you're just going to place, oh, that wasn't great. All right, we'll put that back on. So you put one, oh, I just don't know where to put things. And you're going to put this one right back after. And bam. All right. I was going to smack it, but then that would hurt it. Yeah, I don't want it to be sad. All right. So now we grab this piece here, right? We're going to grab this piece. And we're just going to slap that on. And we're going to grab one of these. It's like the big boys, but bigger. And you're going to slap that on right here as well. So it's really stuck on good. And you're going to grab two of these. We This was like the first block we placed on this. And you're going to put it right here on the back one. Make sure it's good. And you're going to put another one. Oh, wait, no, don't place it there. Don't, don't place it there. Unless you want your build to not be exactly like the instructions. 
Okay, put that there. Then you're gonna want to grab this piece right here. And you're gonna place it where I was saying to place the other ones. Make sure it's good. It's on tightly and very nicely placed. Okay. So next up, you're gonna grab this piece. And right? you're gonna cover this original thing over here and just place it right on top. And then after that, what you wanna do is you're gonna grab this piece that looks like water and you're gonna place it right here. And then you're gonna grab one of these. Now these big boys and place it right next to the water piece and you're gonna grab this tiny transparent blue oh wait that's a green you're gonna grab this tiny transparent blue piece and you're gonna place it and count one two and place it on the one right next to it in the second row so then, after that, you're gonna want to grab. You're gonna make flowers because this is apparently art class now. So you're gonna grab a brown stud and a blue stud, a green stud with petals. And oh wait, I also forgot to mention. Gotta place this piece right here to connect these two together. So now you grab your flower, your Walmart flower, and you place it right there. And you're gonna make two more flowers. You know, we all love our Walmart branded flowers. Hey, what? Well, oh, hey, where'd you get your flowers? Oh, yeah, they're Walmart brand. Woo! I love my Walmart brand flowers. They're definitely knockoff and cheap, but they're mine. All right, so now you're going to make bam, 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 boo. Grab one, grab these celery sticks, make them look like celery. That's gone bad. Uh, you want to get three celery, four celeries that have gone bad and just stack them up on each other. Alright, one, two, one, two. Alright, so then, look. Yeah. Gonna get all of our celeries that have gone bad and just stack them on each other. Alright, and then after we do that, you're gonna grab this piece that looks like it has too many eyes and place it right on top then after that what we're gonna do is okay so you're gonna grab one of these and the baby and you're gonna make four the babies you have to make the baby four times and you have to say let's go let's go Let's go. Okay, so after you've made your the baby and said let's go every, every single time, you got. How does this work? Okay, so apparently you you do something like this. Oh yeah, that seems really right. That seems really good. Okay, so now you wanna place this on top of this. Uh, place this one right here and you're gonna place this one right here now you have our bamboo you're gonna place it right over here for the pandas I broke the instructions but that's okay so now apparently we have to make another bamboo so we're gonna be back when we're done with our three more bamboo so we're actually not gonna be back when we when we're done with the bamboo because each bamboo stalk needs to be shorter than the last. And you need to make sure you're making three bamboo thingies. Alright? So see, since the last one was four, this one's going to be three bamboos long. You grab another piece that has too many eyes for its own good, and you stick it right on top. My mother sneezed. Alright, so we're going to grab one the baby. Let's go. Two the babies, let's go. Three the babies, let's go. Oh yeah, we need four the babies for each one. Four the babies, let's go. All right, one, two, three, four. We just place that right over here. 
Now you can place the bamboos on any of these three in whichever order you want. That's not gonna change the build. All right, and now for the next bamboo, we're gonna grab two of these. All right, we need one, two, and we don't have any more of those colors that we need. Okay, we'll be back when we find out the solution for that. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so we couldn't find the pieces, but Lego's all about being creative. So I'm gonna use these other pieces that are just here as extra and hope that I won't need them later. All right, I'm gonna place this and we put this. Hey, they seem similar-ish enough. Okay. And then we're gonna place one last time the piece that has too many eyes for its own good. And we're gonna make four of the babies again. Let's go. They're not. E they're just called the babies now. The babies. It's not even two stud with one stud under it. It's the babies. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So after you have your last bamboo thingy, we're just gonna have it perfectly placed as so. And then we're gonna put it right over here. Now, once again, you can place these bamboos in whichever order you want. I'm just doing it like this because this is how it is in the instructions. But remember, be creative. It's Lego. Okay, so now we're gonna build the pandas. That they can finally live in their house so they won't be homeless. And dismantled, because they're not built yet. Alright, so after we put two of these on their, on, under them, you're going to put two more. Because it's a panda. It needs good legs. You can't just give it semi-good legs and leave. Do you not care about the pandas you're creating for a fam- for? Do you want them to have a not good life? You cruel animal hater. Whatever. All right, so then we're gonna put another one on top, another four piece, and then a two piece right on top of that previous one. You're gonna grab one of these, place it like so. Then you're gonna grab a black flat one, like this, and place it right next to the white flat one. And then you're gonna get a panda head now place it upside down and you're gonna grab one of these weird pieces and you're gonna place the circle right under the panda's neck so that you can connect the head to the body Whee! and you're just gonna put him upside down in here cause he's happy alright and then you're gonna build your second panda the exact same oh I'm sorry instructions apparently I have to place him right here so he won't die alright Oh, wait, this one's sitting up. Oh, boy. All right. This one's sitting up eating bamboo. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this piece and this piece. And you're going to place one right on top of the other. Just like that. And then you're going to get this a black piece here and place it right next to the white one. Then you got to flip it upside down. And you're going to grab these two black three stud pieces and place them right next to the original base. And then you're gonna put slay... I almost said slay it upside down. Lay it upside down and place this gray one right on over the, the white one. Remember, you gotta keep it upside down. It also won't work. Then you grab your two arch pieces for the legs. So you're gonna grab it and you're gonna place it right next to the gray piece. Just like this. So you can stand up like that. And then you're finally going to flip it back to normal. And you're going to grab this piece here, this gray piece with the little handle, and place it right here on the white one. Or you can place it on the black one, whichever, whichever part you want to be the forward part. And then you're going to have this gray piece. Wait, not that color. The other gray. Oh, wait, we don't have another gray. Okay, so just the same, the, 
the same thing we did earlier. And yeah, we're gonna have that as our panda's body, the base for the head. Then you're gonna grab the two whites and two blacks just like this and the instruction says to place them normally like two whites in the front like one white like the two whites on the whites and the two blacks on the blacks but guess what we love to be random here and pandas don't have perfect like structured aren't okay you know what we're just gonna do it how it says I don't want this piece here. I want them to be like this. Don't mind me just taking apart the panda instead. Okay. We're just going to have to do it how the instructions say. Okay. Cool. So now, what we're going to do after you have that, you're going to want to... Wait, am I missing a piece? Oh, I forgot. We gotta place these white pieces on top of the gray pieces. That's why it looked weird, because I skipped the whole step. Alright. And then you gotta grab another one and place it right on top. Okay. And then after that, you wanna grab one flat white piece and one flat gray piece. A black piece. And you place it right, the white on top of the white and the black on top of the black, or you can do it vice versa if you want to. And right after that, you're going to build the, the panda's head, how we did earlier. Grab this weird piece and place a circle right on the circle on the panda's head. And you connect his head to his body, like this. So you can eat his bamboo. Then here we're going to build a bamboo just for him. Grab one of these, grab two of these. You will need two of them. Then you're gonna place this funny looking piece on the first one, and you're gonna place the other one right on top of it. And then you're gonna give it to the panda like this. You're gonna like put the circle piece in his hand so it looks like he's eating the bamboo. And then you're gonna place him right here. You can place him wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to place him inside the little house. So he can have his privacy while he eats. And yeah, that's how you build the whole thing. So we're going to be back when we're done building Alex. Alright, so now we're back because we have Alex. We're going to put Alex right here. Wait, what if, I, what if I take off the pickaxe, right? And I leave it up here next to the bed. And I put this cake that she has just right here next to the bed and I can make it like she's climbing the ladder I think that'd be cool if she can move her hand okay so now we're just gonna have her like this gonna move the positioning of her hands so that she can be going up the ladder I like this freaking like ah gotta move the whole thing just because you're being difficult and can't go up a ladder. Okay. Now we grab this. And perfect. And I just built this thing with the spare pieces. Alright, and I put the fish right here. Because it's like the fish in the water. And yeah, that's... That's how you build the whole thing. Alright, so here's the panda set. Right next to my end, uh, end set. What you can, funny, cool thing you can do here is like, you see how these are like meant to be chorus trees? Well, what you can also do is you can put them right under here. And put it like that. And this thing actually pops up so you can shoot it. And yeah. It's, they're chorus trees and they're also like ammo for the dragon. And what we have here is an enderman who just picked up a, a block. Oh, and also a cool thing you can do is like you can pretend that he shot the arrow and you, ooh, the crystal came off. All right. And yeah, here's, here's the character with an ender pearl and an arrow and a potion of instant health. So yeah, those are the two Lego sets. I didn't record myself building this one. 
But yeah, that's all for today. Please like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys soon.